Hello basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about how Kawhi Leonard shoots the basketball and how it's just a bit different from other players so that he can get the really lucky bounces on that rim. So throughout this video I'm going to show you a couple of highlights of Kawhi Leonard but also I'm going to be explaining to you how he shoots the basketball. So for one, the number one reason why he is able to get the basketball to bounce on that rim so many times. He hit that game winner in the playoffs with the Raptors and he does have the ball bounce quite a bit on the rim even when he's at the free throw line he can be sitting there and he's able to get that ball to bounce off that rim so many times so that it bounces in. So if you watch a lot of his tapes, a lot of his highlights, when he shoots the basketball, he doesn't shoot the ball forward like that. He also doesn't shoot the ball at a 45 degree angle like that. What he does is he shoots it pretty well straight up. And his arm and his follow through is straight up like that. And the reason for that is if your arm is shooting the ball straight up, that means that you're going to need more legs when you, when you shoot because to get more arc on the ball, you're going to be shooting the ball higher. That means that the ball is going to be able to bounce around the rim. So if you think about it this way, and I have explained this on this channel a few different times, where let's say this is the rim, right? And if you're shooting at a basically a, a, an angle like this, it's going to be rattling around the rim because you really only see the rim like this. However, if you shoot with a lot of arc, that turns the rim so that now the rim becomes bigger. The more arc you have, the bigger the rim will look to the ball. Not to yourself, but to the ball. And it'll also seem like the rim gets bigger as well when you start shooting with a lot of arc because you're going to be hitting a lot more shots. Now, to be able to do this, like Kawhi Leonard, he is able to reach up and shoot straight up into the air. Now, there's a saying called... If your shot is long, you need to have more arc, which means that you need to shoot higher. But also, if your shot is short, you need to use more legs. And when you're shooting with a lot of arc, like Kawhi Leonard does, especially in that game-winning shot, you're going to have to use a lot of your legs to be able to get this basketball to the rim. Now, the second thing that Kawhi Leonard does when he's shooting the basketball is he's not watching his defender to see what his defender does. He will be able to see that in his peripheral vision. What you're going to be, if you look at his head when he's about to shoot the basketball, he's looking at the rim the whole entire time. And the reason why this is good is because when he finally comes up for the shot, he knows exactly what he's aiming for. He knows the movements of where his body is going versus the rim, and he's able to get that shot off. Which now, if you are unable to dribble the ball with your head up, this is a very good reason to be able to dribble the basketball with your head up. Because if you're able to dribble with your head up, always looking at the rim, you're going to be able to cross up that defender because you can see him in your peripheral vision. But now, you already know where the rim is, and you'll always know where the rim is, so you're able to get that shot off all the time by always looking at that rim and knowing where that rim is. Now the third thing that Kawhi Leonard does on like 90% of his shots is he doesn't really step into it like this like a lot of players do. Now that's going to allow you, by stepping into your shot, that's going to allow you to now stop on a dime and go straight up. However, what Kawhi Leonard does 90% of the time is when he's dribbling in, he'll actually do a quick jump stop and then he takes his shot. Now the reason why this is so good, it still does, if you do it properly, if you shoot straight up, it will still do the same effect as this, you're stopping on a dime. However, with the jump stop, it's going to make his shot a lot quicker. You're able to get up there and get your shot off a lot faster. So now by putting those three tips together, the fact that he's always looking at the rim, the high arc shot, the real high release and holding his release, and then the third tip by doing a jump stop instead of stepping into it, you're going to be able to have yourself a quick shot, but also a shot that's going to be very accurate and is going to be a high arcing shot so that if it is just a bit off, you're going to be able to make that shot because it's going to be able to bounce in. 
So basically what it looks like is you're gonna be dribbling up, you're always gonna be looking at the rim. And then when you get here, you're gonna take your jump stop, and then you're gonna take your shot. So from here, you're always looking at the rim, you're gonna be dribbling up, you're gonna do the jump stop, and then you're gonna do your high arcing shot. Now I hope that these tips help you be able to shoot the ball better just like Kawhi Leonard. If you're interested in individual personalized practice and skills plans, go check out my website. Link is in the description below and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another twice a day basketball video.